Welcome back to Larry's Name Thing Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great and exceptional day. Uh, to my Instagram folks, if you're watching live right now, we're going to go live within the next 20 to 30 minutes. Um, talking about uh, the actual economic sanctions and repercussions that are happening in regards to the... Um, regards to the actual uh, Russian and Ukraine crisis and all that good stuff, right? Today's word of the day is sanctions. Sanctions stands for a threatened penalty for disobeying a law or a rule. A lot of people have to deal with the sanctions and whatnot, especially as my brother would call it, a lot of people have to pay the stupid tax in regards to they like to go, you know, 50 miles over the freaking speed limit, and then they wonder why they got a bunch of speed and tickets so they get their license revoked. Or even the biggest stupid tax, especially in today's world, people love to still get DUIs in the world of, um, you know, I'm too old for that nonsense, but in the world of Uber and Lyft and any, all these other ride shares that are out here, you still got drunken idiots that get, and that's what I'm calling them, yes, you still got drunken idiots that'll go out late at night, get the drink on, and then they um, say, yeah, I'm good enough to drive, and then they get pulled over by a cop, or worse yet, they get in a car accident and might hurt themselves, hurt somebody else, kill themselves, or kill somebody else. Nothing to play around with, you know, it's real talk. It's nothing, to, not a joke, nothing to play around with. I had a member of my family get killed by a drunk driver, so yeah, I take that stuff uh, seriously. But uh, yeah, sanctions just basically happens when, you know, somebody disobeys a law. Like right now, Russia has a lot of economic sanctions towards them, so a lot of their people can't even use um, a lot of things on the internet. They can't even freaking um, get access to a regular bank. A lot of the assets have been frozen. I'm going to talk about that later on my um, YouTube channel and my Facebook page. If you're not if you're not subscribed, go to Larry's Anything Goes LLC. You'll find me on there and all that good stuff. And um, we'll see we'll see what it, um, we'll have a good conversation because I always have people come in and talk and whatnot. What's going on, Too Short? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, but anyways, all right. So today's actual uh, quote of the day. So you know, I do my word of the day, and I do my quote of the days, and whatnot is by Hannah Arden. It said, "Give yourself peace of mind. You deserve to be happy. You deserve the light. Give yourself peace of mind. You deserve to be happy. You deserve the you deserve the light. And regardless of who you are and whatever specific situation you're in in this life, I, I believe everybody deserves a little piece of happiness. Um, just like I was talking about yesterday, in regards to people finding." Uh, their dreams and going towards their dreams and all that good stuff. I believe that you know you keep the people in your life that bring joy to you, whether they're family, friends, co-workers, whatever. Keep people in your life that bring joy to you, that you can bring joy to, and um, you know find your piece of little happiness wherever you can, whether it's on the internet, whether it's some specific country, another city, state, whatever. That's one thing I can respect about the pandemic. A lot of people said the heck with it. I'm done. I'm, they left California. They left New York. They left D.C. They moved south. They moved north. They moved to the Midwest. Or they actually left, moved to another country and whatnot. The expats and whatnot. To start a new life. To start all over again. And I'm not mad at that because it takes a lot of guts for people to, to just pick up. Especially in today's world to just be able to pick up and move and make things happen elsewhere and whatnot. So definitely chase your happiness. I always say, you know, make money moves. A liberal, you're going to liberal like a fool. But there's a lot of uh, miserable, to quote Damon Dash, there's a lot of miserable rich people out here. So it's one thing to get your money right, but it's even better when you got your family tight, your love tight, your, your, um, your friends, everything's right, and you're making sure everybody's good just as, just as well as you are and whatnot. Because no one can be as much as as much as I'm an introvert as much as the next introvert is. But I know that I can't live on an island by myself, right? So do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. If you're a crypto investor, stock market investor like me, if you want an individual retirement account, all the links will be in the description. Sign up for um, Acorn. Sign up for um, Stash. Sign up for Weebles. You know, all that good stuff. Sign, sign up with Coinbase. You have opportunity to buy cryptocurrencies. And if you, even if you're a regular working person, you gotta have, and you got a pension plan, it's always nice to get an additional pension plan. Obviously, I'm not giving out any financial advice, but what I am saying is it's nice to have backup plans. So do your own research. Don't say Larry said I was gonna become rich because I didn't say that and um, all that good stuff, all right? Be an adult, make your decisions, move forward, all right? So on that note, family, make money move. So you're gonna live broke like a fool. And I'll see y'all later on um, Facebook and um, or YouTube, all right? Take care. That goes the young lady. Uh, my Woodbridge family's up in the house tonight. Hopefully y'all doing great. Take care.